Hey, welcome back to another video on analytics engineering in K-12. I am Marcos Alcozer, and in this video, I am going to be talking all about the EdFi API and the various modes that are available. There are five modes that the API supports. I'll cover each one and talk about when you'd want to use a specific one. As always, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you are notified of new episodes as they are released. If you're not familiar with EdFi, I recommend that you go back in the channel and watch those videos. Implementing the EdFi technology suite and adopting the EdFi data standard is essential to bringing together your disparate data. Okay, let me just tell you right now that you should almost always use your specific mode. Future videos will go into EdFi deployment best practices and pitfalls to avoid, but this one will cover each API mode so you understand what's out there. All right, let's start with shared instance. This API mode is used when you want to create a direct one-to-one -one connection between the API and the ODS. This is the most straightforward of all API modes. Let's move on to year specific next. This is the one that I recommend most of the time. I recommend that a local education agency or LEA creates an ODS per school year and does not store multiple years of data in one ODS. Year specific allows for many ODSs to be accessible via the API. The EdFi API routes traffic to the appropriate ODS based on the URL. Even if you're unsure if you want multiple years of data accessible via the API, I still recommend that you use year specific over shared instance and simply configure the API to only register one ODS instance. District specific. District specific is used when you are dealing with data for many LEAs and you want an ODS per LEA. When you create an application in the EdFi admin app, you associate the application with one or more LEAs. District specific requires an application to only be associated with a single LEA and will use that association to determine which ODS to interface with. Sandbox. This API mode is used in development environments and should never be used in production. This API mode should be used only when you are using the Sandbox Administration Portal. This application makes it very easy to create and destroy ODS instances for when you are engaging in rapid development and need to frequently start with a fresh ODS. Instance Year Specific. This is our final API mode to cover. This is an emerging EdFi API mode that has already been implemented on the API layer but not yet documented fully in TechDocs. This API mode allows a single EdFi API to support ODS segmentation by both LEA and school year. I'll have a future video on this channel that will go deep into this API mode. This mode is a great option for collaboratives and education service agencies. All right, those are the five API modes that are available to you. I recommend that you start off with Sandbox and the Sandbox Administration Portal for when you are rapidly developing, you're spinning up ODSs, you're destroying them, you're getting used to interacting with the API. When you start to move into a production environment, I recommend that you look at year specific if you are a single LEA. If you are an organization that manages data for multiple LEAs, then I recommend that you keep an eye on this new instance year specific and stay tuned to the channel for a future video on it.